Open Arms, Mary Sawyer, portrayed by Addison. As I sit here in my rocking chair, I remember all the good times I had with my husband. Oh, did we know how to throw a party. These days are long, but the memories I hold keep me going. As I look outside my window, I see all the children running and screaming about. The boys are playing baseball, acting like their favorite player. I notice one pointing at the sky, just as how Babe Ruth does it on TV. The girls are playing hopscotch. Some are jump roping, but I am the little old lady that sits and sews. I was born in 1856. Ah, those times were different. Not like these. My childhood is one big blur to me now. It was so long ago, so very long ago. I remember chores though. They were hard. They took up most of my day. They included washing clothes and dishes, cleaning the house from top to bottom, but there was always time to play with my doll. One of the earliest things my tired brain can remember was that in 1893, I started up. Well, I should not say I, many other women helped me. We started something called the Women's Industrial Exchange. Many other cities had this organization, but this was La Crosse's first. This was a place where women could make their own money, selling their trade. This was huge back then. If you're a woman, you did not work, even if your husband could not. To start this, my friends and I each had to pay $2. That may not sound like much, but back then, that was quite a large amount of money to pay. Boy, it was hard making a living on the money we made. Don't get me wrong, I loved helping out, but I only made $25 a month. And trust me, that did not last long, bills and all. But then my husband died when he was only 41. He owned a lumbering business, and I was left with a large sum of money for what to do with it. I thought the best thing to do with it was to give it away. I donated $600,000 to the city of La Crosse to build the first auditorium in La Crosse, and they took it with open arms. The auditorium was pretty popular in its days. Nixon gave a speech in it, and Queen sang in it too. But there was just one problem. It was a basketball court. Sure, it was great for basketball, but I wanted a place where the public could witness hate, sorrow, and disbelief, where theater was performed, but what counts is what the people want, and the people can only want for so long. My gift, my auditorium, was torn down in 1980. After all my long years I have lived, I have learned many things, many life lessons I have learned, some great, some terrible. One of them I have gathered is that doing something now may not affect somebody immediately, but it sure will affect somebody sometime. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.